I'm gonna keep it brief. There's two things I want to talk about in the new Hitman trilogy. So Hitman began in I think 2000 as a 3D game, third person, you know, stealth shooter. But then it got a reboot in 2016. So I'll be talking about Hitman, the reboot, the new series, Hitman 1, 2, 3. And then I'll also be talking about some of the old games, but I'll, I'll be sure to be specific. Now, in the new Hitman, there's some great info that they show you. Um, your target at the top of the screen on the left, Eliminate, Hush, and Imogen. I like that, because as you kill them, it shows you, or your other objectives, as you take it out, they get taken off. Um, bottom left, it shows that I have Silent Assassin, which means that I basically have a perfect score right now. I'm trying to finish the game while keeping my perfect score intact. Um, kill my two targets and escape. But underneath that two green cross pistols, you see three skulls. And those are, they represent the difficulty I'm playing on, which is master difficulty. That is dumb. And I'll explain why, because that information is not entirely necessary, but I appreciate it. The three skulls. Here's the information that is entirely necessary. I need to know if people are searching for me, like if I'm being hunted, or if my cover's blown. And I also need to know if I'm trespassing. Let's go ahead and do something kind of crazy really quick. This area right here is trespassing. The only way you know is because the context. There's two guys here and they'll say, You have to stop and listen to what they say, because when he said love the Sioux, I almost just walked right through, even though I knew. So, uh, by default, your minimap is on, and they expect you to have this on, and you can turn it off, but here's why you should always keep it on. The minimap shows you NPCs. If they're a black dot, it means they don't suspect you at all. It shows staircases. It shows which direction is north. It shows your targets on the mini-map so I can see that there's someone beneath me. And it also shows which direction the player is facing and, you know, that good shit, right? Now, on the mini-map behind those two guards, right in front of me, is trespassing. But nothing shows that on the mini-map. There's not, a, like, a, it's, that area is not pink or yellow or checkered or anything. Whoa, okay. Trespassing didn't immediately blow my sound assassin. That's fantastic. The last time I played, it still would blow that. So I'm glad it doesn't do that anymore. But still, trespassing doesn't show up on your minimap. And the reason why I'm complaining is because if you think, all right, well, then I'll turn off the minimap. It's not that useful. If you turn off the minimap and you go into an area where you're trespassing, it doesn't tell you that you're trespassing, which is kind of useful. It also doesn't tell you if you're being hunted or if your cover is blown, which is also useful information. One thing that annoys me, and this is more a change on the design and not like their conveyance, is check this out. She's not the target, but she's going to have a little accident. Oops. And she has an accident. She fe that wasn't my fault, but somehow I lost Silent Assassin. Weird. You know, in Blood Money you could get away with that, obviously. The game is designed differently, and I get that. But let me tell you why that difference makes a whole world of difference to me. Because in this game, the mini-map and instinct that lets you see through walls. These are tools that they want the player to use constantly. Of course they want you to have the mini-map on because it's showing you information in real time. And it also shows you if you're trespassing. It also shows you, watch this. A crime noticed. Let's try having our crime noticed with the mini-map off and see if it shows us anything. The reason why I'm going through all this is to show you that the game doesn't just want you to have the minimap, it is telling you to keep the minimap on. Because 
If you're gonna play the game right, you need the minimap. It does tell me crime noticed. Now, hang on there. It also said gunshot heard. That's fantastic. Great. But those are one-offs where it'll tell you, okay, crime noticed, uh, gunshot heard. For ongoing situations, however, this doesn't tell me. If we turn on the minimap, searching and trespassing. Now, notice how searching and trespassing have their own symbols. Searching has an hour uh, uh, spyglass, and the trespassing symbol had a circle with a slash through it to show that it's prohibited, right, or restricted. So. If you've got a symbol for searching and a symbol for trespassing, then why not just show those no matter what in the bottom left corner, right? You're gonna show me my silent assassin rating. You're gonna show me my difficulty rating for some reason. For some reason, I'm allowed to see my difficulty rating at all times, but I'm not allowed to see if I'm trespassing or if I'm compromised, or if I'm in a hostile area, that is also useful. Again, go to gameplay, turn the HUD off. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I selected the wrong thing. Uh, not HUD. We go to, yeah, we definitely want to keep vital messages on. Turn the minimap off. Oh, thank God it tells us we're being arrested though. Uh, it's just that so okay what this means is you have to play with the minimap on I'm almost done with my ramp okay so we have to play with the minimap on to get all of the information that's necessary to get silent assassin in this game okay so we're playing with the minimap on now And it's telling us that we're hunted, and it's going to tell us if we're trespassing. Fantastic. Why do they want us to play with the minimap on? Because, again, it shows our information in real time at all times. We don't ever have to do this. You never have to open up a menu and select your map and look around. You never become disengaged from the gameplay. Now on one hand that's fantastic always being in the game is what you want especially in a stealth game like this right but let me make a counter argument I'm gonna say that despite the map in blood money taking you out of the game it actually enhanced the immersion or should I say the engagement the player had in blood money if you wanted to see what a target was up to it was like this all right, no mini map, okay? And I wanna see what's out there. Well, I can't use instinct to see through walls. So in Blood Money, you would press the map button, which would automatically pull up the map. You wouldn't have to worry about this BS of like cycling through shit. And boom, the map here would show you not just your targets, but would show you all the NPCs. You'd see a guard right here, and you'd see which way he's facing. And if he's turned and he started walking, you'd see that. But the whole point is, your map is open so you can't move but you're observing everything what if you see another guard coming down this way and he's coming right towards your door and he's turning like he's gonna come in here then you might take cover he opens the door and he walks past and you are sitting here sweating <gasps> holy shit that was so close you will never have a moment like that in the new hitman because you know where everyone is always you will never be surprised you'll never be snuck up on you won't have to do any work to keep track of anything. There's your target. There she is, always. And you might say, oh, well, you can turn off the mini-map. No, you can't, you idiot, because then you don't know if you're trespassing. You don't know if your disguise is ruined. You can't even pull up your map and look at it because this pauses the game. That takes away all of the feeling of being hunted or being in uh, I, somewhere you're not supposed to be while looking at a map and trying to get your bearings that all goes out the window because 
the game pauses and not only that it doesn't show NPCs and not only that you don't have a map button you have a press pause button and then you cycle over to your map all of it sucks and now sure you could just say well who cares why do you just not play with the mini map and why don't you use this because I spend the whole game looking at the mini map I spend the whole game checking every corner with instincts and what does it do? It makes me into the perfect killing machine, you know? It makes it so that even my grandma, if she saved as much as I did, like I said, could get Sound Assassin. But I don't care about games where anyone can get Sound Assassin. No matter, like, by sheer process of elimination and trial and error. I liked how in Blood Money, someone could see you with your gun out and they could run to tell the cops but if you knock them out and you throw them off of the steamboat they drown there goes the witness accident kills don't count you get to keep selling assassin it's the difference between if blood money was like jazz well absolution just ruined this whole series and there's no more jazz element there's no more improv there's some people who are great at this game and can do the like thinking on their feet imp you know the old games might have wanted you to memorize shit but you know this game it's literally impossible to do it without a mini map maybe you could memorize the map maybe it's an issue the maps being too big maybe it's not an issue at all but the game is different you know I'm not trying to say the blood money was the best hitman game ever but contracts had the same type of map and it invoked the same feeling of being like, you know, behind enemy lines. And, you know, maybe I just like an old shitty way to play video games. But that's okay. This game is still good. The series is still fantastic. But there are changes to the minimap and to just the way it conveys everything makes it easy. It makes it easy in a way where... You're a different kind of hitman than you used to be. You're not so scrappy. You're not thinking on your feet. And it's not like you didn't grow as a player in the old hitmans either. You still would get better at those games. But in this game... Man. It's just no fun knowing where everything is all the time. Sometimes it's useful, but the fact that after your first playthrough, there's not an alternative. You either know everything or you know nothing. It uh, it's just not it's not for everyone. This game's not terrible, but I'm telling you, I think I've outgrown it. If that makes sense, I really like the Hitman series, the new one, and I think that if someone hasn't played the new trilogy, they've got to. It's one of the best stealth games, but uh, it's not like Dishonored. You know, this is a this is kind of a puzzle stealth game. You know. Uh, enemies don't even react to sound. They barely react to sound in Master Mode, for Christ's sake. So, do with that information what you will. At least you can hide bodies. You know, it's not as bad as Ubisoft yet.